attentive healing, the next step. Uh, today I want to show you how uh, I teach him to control his rear. I kind of I forgot my uh, riding whip that I usually use to help him. Uh, I'll be using just the leash. It doesn't look as, as nice because it flops on him too much. But nevertheless, I want to show you how uh, we when we turn. So now we are where we are at, at this point. We are healing straight. He can sit. Uh, we, we do a lot of things uh, during healing. He can heal for a very long time without the reward. Very nicely, he, he does it very good. He progressed very well. But now we need to get to the point where we make turns, right? And then also uh, what I want to set up for is that eventually the dog needs to uh, come over to the basic position. Uh, because up till this point, it's me who actually is coming into the basic position to him but not him, he doesn't know that. And for him to understand that, he needs to know that he needs to swing his butt over into a certain position. And I'm helping him to control his rear with the uh, short tap today. So I wanna show you how we do this. We've done this a couple of times before I record the video, so he kind of understands more or less, um, and he starts moving the rear. Uh, when we started at the very beginning, if you remember, in one of my uh, basic obedience videos, we had uh, a couple of videos where he was young, he was a puppy, and we had a step stool, and his front legs would be on the step stool, and then I would um, feed him into it and turn my hand, and he rotates his butt. So, surprisingly enough, dogs have great memory, and he remembers that. So when I start working on the control in the rear, I use that same exercise. I had a little bit of bait in my hand and I would start turning and telling him to come and turn, turn and tapping him over on the butt and so he would understand that he needs to swing a little bit and as soon as he does it I would say yes and reward and so that's how we started but today we are progressing a little bit more and I want to show you how we do this. Okay, are you ready? You ready? Okay, sit, no, sit, look, good look. We always start with the same exercise where he just sits and stares and I reward this. That's always the beginning. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We're good, thank you. Or there's somebody with the dog passing by. Very good, good boy. Very good. Good boy, good look. Yes. Every time we do the first fusing, healing, he is always way too jumpy, he's too excited, too much drive. So I always have to correct him, but then he gets better. As you can see, the time when we turned around and we're coming back, he stopped jumping around. So I don't allow this because it's a bad habit, too much drive, but it tells me that if we get to the competition point, we might need to warm up so he can get the steam out in the, uh, like maybe, one minute or so of fusing, so he jumps out and then he's fine. Okay, so we'll keep going. <coughs> now I wanna show you how we rotate. So we'll do it here in one spot. Sit. Push. 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 No. 
himself I rewarded because at this point he knows what I want from him but hey but he still needs a lot of help and I don't reward when he's way too crooked hey 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 come on when he's too crooked so I wait for him to correct himself because uh, the whole purpose is that he needs to hey he needs to learn to swing his butt and also he needs to know in which position he has to end right so that's what we work him okay Going on a small tight. Hey, come over here. Hey, lots. Good. Going on a very tight circle also helps him to learn to swing around. And again, with the uh, riding whip, it's a lot easier to show you how this works. But nevertheless, you understand the exercise. And now, let me show you how we actually how we do it in the healing. So why do I do this? So. <clears throat> Another trick in healing is that when you walk with the dog, they sometimes, you know, a little bit crooked. And when you're in the basic position, when you stop uh, during the trial, the dog sometimes is slightly out. His butt is slightly out, so he's crooked. So what I do in training, after the dog knows the, to swing the butt, just like that, before I stop, before the halt in the exercise, I always turn 90 degrees. Plats. I always turn. So, plats, good boy. So, from now on, that's what I'll be teaching him. Before we stop, there is always the, a turn. And so, what it does when you're in a trial and you don't make this turn, the dog knows to swing in. And so, he's, he's more straight. So, that's the trick. I'll show you how it's done. Come on. Good boy. Puss. Good. Puss. So you kind of saw, I, I walk straight before I halt, I make a turn. And uh, he's not, uh, he's figuring it out because we haven't done this, this is something new um, for him. But from now on, that's pretty much the routine. 
we're going straight before we halt we're gonna make a 90 degrees turn and uh, if I see that he's sticking out too much instead of always re relying on a tool, tool which I probably won't be using much any longer I'll, I'll start making tighter circles if I see that he's out I'll start making tidy circles to make him swing a bit more and then go on a straight line so I'll be correcting him in a way with my tight circles which uh, will help him understand that he needs to control his rear a little bit more and be tighter. So that's about it. Happy training!